Hello you fellow builders, Joel here from The Hangar Bay bringing you May 2019's Key Bandai delivery and oh boy we've had some crazy stuff just come in so let's get to it shall we? So first up we have here Eric, Mans <coughs> Eric Mansfield's Zaku 2 High Mobility Type so this is a 1A Zaku 2 High Mobility Type so these are the P bundle variations there's no dash 2's in or there's no dash 1A's in the um as retail, it's only best twos. Um, key difference on this one, aside from the colour and the markings, is that this has the alternative head antenna. So, um, Manfield's antenna comes a little bit off the side of the head, rather than being, or the command antenna, rather than being directly on top, like a direct horn. Um, otherwise, it's fairly similar to what you would get with the Black Tri Stars, which is this one. Um, the box is a little bit bigger, so I guess there's a bit more parts replication than that. But yeah, um, as for water slides, this one obviously, uh, P button IRGs mostly do not contain water slides, however, there is a GD sheet which has the ACE pilot markings on it and a separate GD sheet which has the uh, Zuckerheimer Ability Type 1A markings on it. So you would need a combination of those if you want water slides. Otherwise, yeah, um, this was only one production run as well, or one, one. Uh, availability one which was for this month there's no more that's currently available however I know that they are sitting on more it just didn't sell so well in Japan when it is reissued which I guess will be sometime when they're issued the next pilot which I think will probably be Gato I think will be the next Zaku 2 high mobility type they will reissue the Eric Mansfield um, until then you'll just have to wait on that and it might be a while because, again, they're not selling so well, so they're going to give it a bit of space, a bit of time to breathe before they put an uptick again and uh, people will be interested once again ordering them. But yeah, Eric Mansfield. Rigazi Custom. So, this is a heavy modification on an incredibly, got, incredibly old MG. Um, this is probably the most fancy kit to come out this month, even though it is a partial reuse. Um, if you look at the runners, you've got a whole bunch of X's in front of the, the um, XH. Like, so you go A, B, three, A, B, C, D, all the way to Z, and then you go to X, and then you go to X, A. Or they go to X, I think. I don't know. One or the other. But yeah, this has a lot of tooling on it. This thing is actually really fancy in terms of how it's molded. It's like the Dwodge. Um, box is a little bit smaller than the Dwodge, fortunately. So this can be sent as an E packet. Um, same can't be said for the Dwodge. That's the MS only, but yeah. Again, this also has water slides in somewhere. Oh, there it is. That's the water slide sheet, so it's got Amaro markings on that. Um, color's a bit funky, it's got the space AK. Okay. Yeah, otherwise, this is a really nice kit. This is the one if you're going to pick up one P Bundai kit for the month, this is the one I'd recommend. Um, it's obviously more expensive because it has the highest highest MSRP of all the kits and the shipping is going to be a bit because the box is large but it does fit in the packet and it's really well done. Rigger Z Custom. Gundam TR1 Hazel Custom with expansion parts for the TR6. So this is identical to the retail kit except for three distinct areas which makes it vastly superior in my opinion. First up, this thing. Ah, uh, it's behind the thing. You have water slide decals, which are behind the right. Water slide decals. These don't normally come with HGs, normally, and with the retail kits, it's just a set of stickers. There are water slides for Advance of Zeta, it's GD35, I believe. They are incredibly hard to find because Advance of Zeta is incredibly popular. So, yeah. First point, which already makes it rather good. Second important point is that the inner frame is done with KPS plastic and not ABS plastic. You can see there it doesn't have the same sort of ABS shine that you'd see on, an, on the, the retail version of this kit. This will take paint a lot more easily than the ABS plastic without cracking and breaking. So again, second point. And the third point is it comes with these connectors for the TR6 wound ward. Now, this is a bit convoluted, but there is a bit of a logic to it. Now, these connect, have connectors which will connect into the, the wound watch shoulders and into the legs. Now, 
these upper ones here, they'll connect to the PCE polycap runner, which is actually on the hazel. So anything using that, it'll be compatible with. So you, things like the hazel, the gut plant, and the Hyzac, these connectors will work with. These ones will work with a slightly larger connector. They're designed specifically for the Zek irons for building one of the variations of the Hyzac too. Then you have leg connectors for the hazel, which is this kit, and the advanced hazel, and then the Marisai. Then you got another set of connectors down here, which have no explanation. They're just um, 4.5 millimeter ball joints that they accept, which doesn't have any listed compatibility. Even if you look at the uh, instruction insert here, it's just nothing really mentioned about that. It shows the uh, gut plant two conversion. So you're using the ha advanced hazel legs and then the gut plant arms for that. But yeah, so that. Not sure exactly what they have planned about that. I will try to get a video done with explaining these connectors because they're really interesting. Yeah, yeah. aside from that, that's what dif what's different with this kit. It is very clearly superior to the retail kit. So if you can pick it up, I definitely recommend this as the Hazel to get for in one one forty four scale. Hazel Custom HG. FF X twenty nine A G parts Hududu or Hududil if you're using the plural. So this one surprised me because just like the Hazel, it comes with water slides. So it's like the MG variation of this. This came out I think last year or the year before. Now we got oh sorry M yeah MG. Now we have HG parts. So this is the same thing. This is for building. If you're using the Hazel, you can build the Hazel raw. And if you've got the advanced hazel and the darker color ones, which are coming next month, you can build the hazel raw second form. You also have the option to build the full armor hazel raw, which is a white, basically advanced hazel with one shooter do attached to the backpack. Um, this is also compatible with the primrose, which is coming in July, and that has a variation of the primrose for that. But yeah, this is really nice. Really, really, really nice, in my opinion. Um, yeah, as I said, the dark one's coming next on the combat deployment colors. Uh, those water slides are so covered, both variations. Uh, so it's got Omega in, in white and, and light and dark. So I think it's the same sheet for both of them. So if you just wanted to recolor one and the other, that also works. So, uh, but yeah, pretty good, really nice. HG MSK 008 DJ narrative version. So this is fair or well, almost identical to the retail version of the kit, besides so the colours which are done for the narrative. This one also comes with the different primary weapon and then the searchlight for the shoulder. So if you wanted to build the whole squad from narrative, then you would want three of these. One of these carries a the searchlight and and all three carry the different weapon. Otherwise, it's mostly, well, it's pretty much identical to the uh, retail version, which is colored for Gundam Zeta, aside from those extra parts. But DJ is a really, really nice kit. It's a really recent um, HG, so definitely something to look into if you want to complete your narrative collection. Shenlong Gundam. So, this one has been a bit of an annoyance because I don't have a problem with Lufin having kits. When they announced that they had the, the, the Bandai were buying out, buying out the, buying them out partially at the beginning of the year, I realized that that was an event inevitability that they would offer P Bandai at some point. The issue is is if they offer stuff that people have already been purchasing at a later date, that causes major headaches. So yeah, I appreciate those that have stuck with me for this one. That is very much appreciated because it's really, really rough getting stuck with uh, substantial amounts of stock because you're ordering because it's a popular kit and then suddenly orders drop off a cliff and you, what do you do with the, the, the stuff that you ordered? It's suddenly do value cuts concerned. Anyway, as for this kit, key difference is it comes with the large sword from Glory of Losers. So you've got some really nice molding on that, with thin, thin edge uh, cores that come into that. Uh, 
bit of an older kit. I think it's still using the ABS parts, unfortunately. It's got a wire connector for that sort. And finally, it also has some Kotoki redesigns on the water slides. Anyhow, moving forward, I'm just going to have to assume the Bluefin are going to carry Gundam Week kits mostly. I don't know exactly because Maganax, which were also released, are coming out at the same time as the Colgate 3, they're not available. Will they be available? I don't know. And that makes life really, really difficult. Is it to do with value and the density of value because the boxes are a specific size of what they're offering? It could be that. I don't know. Anyhow, uh, if you're outside of the US and you're looking for this, I have that available. I do have a fair few. Uh, obviously going to cut back on ordering numbers on, the endless, uh, on wings, so it helps if you pre-order ahead of the time if you want to get your hands on that because I have to be careful with my numbers. That's just how it is now. Anyhow, Shimangan. RG MS06F Zaku Mine Layer. So, this is leftover stock from last year, I think it was? No, mine layer. So, variation of the Zaku High Mobility type again. This one you want to display backward because it has the really cool backpack on it. No water slides, unfortunately. This is now sold out on the store. Again, this was just leftover stock. When it was gone, it was gone. And it went fairly quickly. But I do have a few left. So if it's something that interests you, now's the time to pick it up because I've got no clue when it's coming back. Zaku mine layer. MS06R1A Black Tristar Zaku 2. So, this is another reissue that was left over stock. It's now gone. This is again another variation of the 1A. This time with the Black Tristar's colors. Water slice probably, properly exist for this kit on one of the DDCs. It's like 111 or something like that. Maybe 113. Anyhow, it's like the Eric Manfield that we saw as a new kit. Again, completely sold out because it was just left over stock. Uh, triple bases, they started selling with the yep 91s and Banshees as a, as a package deal with that on order of a specific size. But yeah. These are pretty decent kits, so something to consider. Anyway, Zaku Black Tri oh, Black Tri Star Zaku 2. RG Double Gundam 7 Sword G Inspection. So, this was. Again, leftover stock. This time, this one didn't sell out. It was only available for one run, so I cannot currently purchase more. But I do know that Bandai are sitting on more. When those will once again come onto the market, nobody knows. Not super popular within the Japanese market, even though the base kit, the, the Dolo and the, the Riser, the RG, the retail kit, was a really solid kit for its time. Yes, we've got the Red Seven Swords variation. We have also five. This one had the original Seven Swords with the G, and that was with the blue. That has water slides. This one doesn't, and they haven't been selling super well in Japan. So it's going to be something intermittent. I'm not going to order large amounts at a time, but when it comes up again, I will try to get more. But I have a few left at the moment, and if you're a fan of Gundam Double O, something again to look into. Double gun. MG Gundam Stormbringer. So, this was shooting up crazy amounts in price on the secondary market because they simply did not print enough. They had three runs on the original original availability of the Stormbringer and those disappeared. And people started going crazy for them. This is a great kit. So it's based on the Jim Dominance, which is another P Bandai kit. Thankfully this was reissued. Hopefully they'll do the same for the Red Dragon, otherwise it's going to do the exact same thing, because I'm out of Red Dragons and that thing's worth a ton now. Yeah, yeah. Water slides, but it also has the water slides for the Polypod Ball. What? Polypod Ball was also reissued, and we'll get to that in a second. Yeah. Otherwise, really fantastic kit. And a Naoki design, I believe, as well. You want to pick this up? Now's the time because I got no clue when they're going to reissue it. Could be a considerable length for the next reissue. Um, yeah, Stormbringer. MG Polybod Ball. So, again, reissue to go with the Stormbringer. Water slides are with the Stormbringer if you want that. Coolest of the balls because it's the Spider Ball basically. So, it's the RG, oh, MG Ball Verkar, which is a great kit. One of the greatest kits. It comes with a set of legs to make it. 
that much more special. This one is also sold out on the P Bundle store. It's a reissue, it's all gone. I have some more, few more coming in later on, and that's it. No clue when I'm going to be able to get more of that. So, this is something that you're after. Now's the time. I got no clue when you're going to be able to get your hands on it again. Polypod Ball. HG Gundam TR6 Hazel 2. So, this is sold out on the P Bundle store. This is what the second run for the kit. There's two more coming up in the future, but those are both, both sold out. Now, this I cannot buy any more of. This one is open. Uh, that poses a number of problems. So, some of the hazel variations that were possible with the expansion joints that we saw with the, the, the HG TR1 hazel, they're only possible with this, the booster pod. That's presently only available with the hazel 2. Now, the high Zinflay 2, which is coming up later this year, is still not close to being um, released. That also has the same booster pod, however that's a much larger kit than this, it's going to be a more expensive still. So we'll have to see what happens about that. Maybe they'll do a white version of the Hazel 2, that's a possibility. Uh, I know at least for the Wound Wart, there's at least a Reezy on spec, so this part, see these white parts that are connected to the Kiha 2 shield? That can be moulded separately from the rest of the Wound Wart, so they at least have a Reezy on spec. Plan for that. But as for this kit, if you're looking at the Gaplant 2 or the Hyzak 2 using the Hyzak arms, though the Hyzak 2 using the Zek arms, arms is fine, it doesn't need the booster pot. You do need this kit. Uh, if you paint, you can avoid getting yourself a wound ward, so that helps you a little in that front. But yeah, that's available. We'll see what one they have planned for the future. In the meantime, sort of is what it is. HG Gundam TR6 Hazel 2. Oh, coming up next month, we have the HG Advanced Hazel and TR6 part. So it's the same as the TR1 Hazel Custom, only it's the Advanced Hazel with the two shield boosters and the skirt from the Jim Sniper 3, I think it was. So yeah, uh, then we have a dark color of the Hoodoo Titans. Well, the Hoodoo Combat Deployment color, so the same thing as this, only with the blue color. Uh, from the Origin line, we have the Zaku Cannon. So, this is fairly similar to the test type, only it has the thicker legs and is in green. It also has markings for the Ian Graydon type, so that's interesting. Uh, for Archies, we have the Exia Repair 3 from Gundam 00. So, that's another variation of the Exia, this time with the big gun. I don't remember the name of that, but that's there and available. Uh, no water slides, though. I I think you could adapt the GD106 from the Exeter tool. And then a super popular, even though it's just straight up recolor, we have the RG Astray Gold Frame Amatsu Hana, which is straight up recolor of the Amatsu Mina, which is available at retail. That's super popular, that's moving really quickly. You really want to uh, pre order that if you want to get your hands on it because it's going to disappear. It actually crashed the site when it went up. That was just unbelievable when that happened. Uh, also, RA100 Gun Easy Ground Type, so we've had the Gun Blaster, and now we've got the Ground Type that's come out. Uh, that one, unlike the uh, Gun Blaster, does come with water slides specifically for the kit, whereas the Gun Blaster had a separate sheet which had various Victory Gundam markings but wasn't specific to that kit, which is a bit weird. And it's offered as a limited item, so I don't know, it's really strange. But yeah, that's the Gun Easy Ground Type, and then MG Jim. Cold Climate type, so or cl Cold Districts type, I don't know which they're going to use as the official name. That's a grunt suit from War in the Pocket, a really great kit, the gym, super popular, something you want to get your hands on, especially if you're getting yourself uh, War in the Pocket collection with the upcoming MG Alex and the RE100 uh, Zaku B, FZB type, I think it is. Yeah, um, in terms of reissues, we've got more wound warts coming. I will getting more in. Their orders on that are closed, but I will be getting more wound warts in. So, you're going to build yourself an army of Zeta. That's there for you. The different uh, TR6 variations. Uh, also, from the Origin line, we have the Rumbarel Mobile Worker. So, it's a blue Mobile Worker, otherwise identical to the retail kit, which is Charles. You now, just with blue. Um, MG Jester Cannon because of the reissues on the sh on the reissue the issue of the Shezar type Jester, which I'm assuming there's going to be a Team A at some point. 
So the cannon may be reissued again with that. Orders are currently closed, but I do have more coming in. Uh, narrative B packs, which is kind of in weird territory because it requires the A packs to build. So you're wasting a lot of plastic, so people are a bit hesitant on that. I, but yeah, so if that's something that you're wanting for your narrative collection, I got more of that coming in. It is kind of popular at the moment. Don't know when that dies off, so I'm sort of cautious on stock. Uh, PGX ear repair part, so if you've got yourself a PGX ear, you want to make it look more termi Terminator-ish. I got you covered on that one. I just reissue. And RG Banshee Final Battle. That's orders are closed on that. I've ordered what I can on that. That's moving fairly quickly. Mostly just a recolor on the clear parts. It's clear green instead of clear yellow, but quite popular. And yeah, and finally we got the RE100 Type 89 base jabber unicorn version. So dark coloring of the base jabber more popular than the what is it, Shah's counter attack lighter color version. So something to go with your jesters and jester cannons and Shazar jesters and chicken D types. Oh, and I also have more VNBS, which is not listed here, but I do have more VNBS coming in next one. Anyway, if you're interested in any of this, anything that's coming up, anything that I mentioned, stuff from old months, which I've got still left over stock on, which I try to keep a decent collection for people to access, please check out my eBay store. Otherwise, thank you for watching. I uh, hope to catch you in the next video, and see you around, bye bye.